YouTube channel fish. Today I'm going to be telling you guys about the time that my school found out about my YouTube channel. <laughs> so my school found out about my YouTube last year and surprisingly it did not go how you would have expected it. Now let me start off by saying there were already a few people who knew about my YouTube from my middle school but back then I was really small and I did not keep my mouth shut about my YouTube but that's because it wasn't as big a deal back when I just had a few hundred subscribers. However in just a few months I went from 8,000 subscribers to millions of subscribers. Hey, Bose, before we continue, if you could please do me a big favor and slap that like button if you have not already, and subscribe if you drink water. So if, if you didn't just do it, you're, you're probably dead or you're an alien. So either way, you know, you guys could just do me a big favor and slap that. All right, so all the people who kept up with my YouTube ended up seeing how big my blow up was, and they were like telling me about it, like, oh, yo, Tico, I see you blowing up on YouTube and everything. Of course, back then, people were calling me Jaden, because that's my real name. Now, luckily, I was chill with basically everyone at my school, so nobody acted too weird about it whenever my YouTube started blowing up. And it didn't go how a lot of people probably expected to. Like, if you blow up on YouTube and you go to public school, no, it's not like everybody came up to me like, oh my gosh, can I take a photo? But actually, people, you know, I had people come up to me and be like, yo, congrats, like, that's awesome, like, congratulations. Honestly, the weirdest thing in middle school that happened whenever my YouTube blew up was just the fact that my teachers were playing my YouTube videos in class. I mean, at first I was like, oh yeah, this is cool. But I don't think it was until my English teacher played my song in class and reacted to my song <laughs> that I was like, okay, you know what? Maybe, maybe I don't like this. Maybe, maybe I'm not a fan of my entire class watching my videos at the same time. Because what happened was somebody like made a joke about it and they were like, hey, you should play this song. And at the time, my teacher didn't know that I was a YouTuber. And so when he pulled up the song, he saw it and he was like, fishy on me. And uh, people were like, yeah, yeah, just play it. Just listen to it. And he goes, uh, okay. So he starts playing the song and everybody's giggling and laughing because like they obviously know it's me, but he has no idea. So he plays about 40 seconds of it. They just turns it off. <laughs> He's like, okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> I'm, I, I, I'm still hurt to this day. <laughs> so then they asked him, what did you think of the song? And he goes, it's not my style of music. <laughs> and they're like, well, we know the person who made it. And he goes, oh, really? And I, and then I, I'm looking at them and I'm like, no, no. I'm shaking my head. I'm like, don't you dare. Don't you dare do it. Because it was their idea to make him play the song, not mine. I was just sitting there trying to do my work. Now, just kidding. I was playing games on my phone. But I was just sitting there and they had to do this. And I'm just like, oh, no. They're, they're really about to tell my teacher now. And then they go, yeah, we do know him and he's like oh who is it and then they just look at me they just turn their heads and look at me and i'm just sitting there like this is it this is, this is the end of me this is the end of my middle school career i'm gonna go down as the fishy kid for the rest of my life yeah sure enough i did but anyways i didn't know that at the time so he goes did you make that song Jaden?" i'm like well <laughs> you see uh yeah and he's just like huh and that, that was it that was it that's all he said was he just kind of goes huh and th that was pretty much the end of that story i mean he didn't really say much after that i mean there are a few other times a year we like talked to me about it because my english teacher actually used to be an actor and he, he was pretty big too he's been in some big movies some with morgan freeman you know that that's pretty cool i guess so we were sort of in the same industry so he could sort of connect with me so when we talked about that stuff it was actually pretty engaging for both of us because we both had something to contribute to the conversation because we were essentially in the same industry to some extent. Now, for the rest of my middle school year, it just slowly and slowly became more known that I was a YouTuber. But again, like I said, I was pretty chill with basically everyone. So it wasn't like someone who didn't know me found out about my YouTube and all they knew me for was the YouTube. It was really just people I already knew and had talked to before that just sort of like came up and they were like, yo, congratulations, that's awesome. Nothing too crazy. I mean, I did get the occasional questions of people asking me for things, but like I said those are easy to ignore and that was pretty much it for my middle school year now going into high school obviously i'm going to a completely new school so a lot of kids from my middle school went to other high schools but there were a small group of kids that did end up going to my high school um this was right when covid happened so everyone in school was distancing they had masks on and the rules at school were super super strict so there weren't a lot of kids that were talking like crazy i did go to public school during this year i went every single day and i sat 
there for eight hours a day and I felt like I was wasting my life away. Personally, I don't feel like I gained anything from school. Uh, I just feel like I'm sitting there wasting time and I have to just regurgitate information on assignments or tests that I'm gonna forget a week later. So it's kind of pointless in my eyes, but it, it can be beneficial for other people just depending on the career that you want to have. So don't let the takeaway of this video be, oh, school's useless. I don't have to try because it is useful just depending on how you want to use the information and if it will actually apply to what you're going to do with your life, which for me, it does absolutely nothing and I learned nothing useful. So for the first like five to six months, nobody, and I mean nobody at my school really knew about my YouTube. Nobody was talking about it. Nobody was playing my videos in class and you know what? It was a pretty relaxing and chill school year. Now also, I did not tell anybody. This was like my little secret, my little superpower if you will i don't know but i would sit in school and i would just be doing my work and not my school work but my youtube work i'd be playing out videos texting thumbnail designers editors getting stuff figured out and just basically building out my youtube channel and my brand overall so this was a whole new experience for me high school and considering my first year going into high school was pretty much ruined by covid i wasn't really sure what to expect like what it actually is supposed to be like so i was just sort of going with the flow and also so the entire year was messed up because of COVID. It was sort of just like a whatever year, like whatever goes, goes. Like nobody really took it seriously. Not even the teachers. I mean, I know it was stressful for them. And they definitely worked a lot harder than they would for other years. But none of the kids took it. <laughs> nobody took it seriously because it was like, eh, it's COVID. Like this year will probably get like canceled anyways for the most part. No one really cared about their grades. So like I said, nobody was really talking about my YouTube at this time. But around two thirds of the school year had passed. And this is when uh, <laughs> things took a pretty big turn. The school was getting less and less strict about COVID. Uh, we weren't distancing as much. Kids were being more chill about like getting together and talking and teachers weren't as worried about it. So there's a lot more communicating and talk around the school. And what happened was I'm sitting in class and I get a Snapchat message from someone on my Snap. Now I didn't really know this person. I wasn't friends with them. They were just on my Snapchat and they snapped me a video. And I opened the video and it is them sitting in one of the classes at my school. And I can see other people that I know in the video and they are playing my song on the whiteboard screen, which means some little rat told the teacher about my YouTube channel and they started playing my videos. So that's where everything went downhill because obviously all those kids in that class had found out about my YouTube and then they told their friends and their friends told their friends and pretty soon everyone at my school knew that there was a kid at the school with a YouTube channel with millions of subscribers. But somehow nobody really linked it to me. I, like I don't understand how, but like just nobody did. So this is also about the time that another big mistake by me happened. So over the summer before that year of high school, I got a message from somebody at the school who writes the school newspapers and all of that stuff and they asked to do a little interview on me. Now my little uh, middle school brain self was thinking, Oh, yeah, this sounds fun. Like, the school wants to interview me. Wow, this is so cool. But I didn't think about the consequences of how in the school newspaper that everybody pretty much reads, they're going to have not only a photo of me, but a description of what I do, meaning lots and lots of people at my school are going to find out about my YouTube channel and a bunch of other information about it. So I finally see the school newspaper, and there's a big photo of me right on one of the pages with a whole, like, four paragraphs about my YouTube channel. And that's when I'm like, oh no, because I didn't actually get the newspaper. I just got a bunch of Snapchats of people sending me photos of me in the school newspaper. And that's when I pretty much pooped myself because I was like, well, this is it. This is the end of me. Uh, my high school uh, reputation down the drain. I will be known as Fishy Kid for the rest of my life. <laughs> and sure enough, yeah, I, I was pretty much right. So this year, things have definitely uh, slowed down a lot. None of the years I was there was really like, like no one at my school was like paparazzi. That That's one thing I did like about the kids at my school. Nobody like went up to me freaking out or doing anything weird or anything like that. So I do appreciate that. So if anyone from my school is watching this video and you were around during this time or what I'm talking about, I appreciate you not coming up to me at school and being like, oh my gosh, Tico, can I get a photo? Can you buy me V-Bucks? Please buy me a car. Because, well, there were some people that did that, just not from my school. So I appreciate the people in my school not doing that. So that's pretty much the entire story of how my school found out about my YouTube channel. And that's the consequences of being a YouTuber and trying to go to public school. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and check out some of my other videos on the screen right now. Bye!